Hey, it's Jay here. I had to be in Tampa last week, and I went down a little early, stayed in St. Petersburg, took my camera with me. In this video, I will take you along on a couple of days of photo shoots that I did there. Well, I had to be in Tampa for uh, a day and a half of meetings. And so I came down a little early. I found a place to stay in St. Petersburg, which is just across the bay from Tampa. It's pretty close. I scattered out some locations for sunset and sunrise. And I uh, just got in this afternoon and I found my first spot for sunset. It's at DeSoto Park. Uh, there's a long fishing pier. The sun is setting behind it. I'm here early, but uh, I wanted to get here and scout things out. And it's looking like it could be pretty interesting. So uh, I gotta be patient and wait a little bit, but I'll get my gear, I'll scout compositions, and uh, we'll come up with something. Well, it is a little humid in the air, and of course my car, my uh, camera was an air-conditioned car. So I got a lot of lens fog, which uh, I keep wiping off. It'll go away at some point. But I might have the same issue with the filter. So I'm gonna put in a uh, graduated neutral density filter with a hard edge, because that sky is pretty bright. It's certainly much brighter than the pier. And uh, that will help balance things out, allow me to go out for a little longer exposure, which I'll want to do at some point. Well, I am using my 16 to 35 millimeter lens. Uh, and right now I'm going out to about 27 millimeters. I'm getting you know, most of the pier in. Uh, the sun is roughly in the middle of the frame. Not much I can do about that. It's where the sun's setting. My goal is to get a longer exposure. I'm gonna get it darker so I can go out at least a third of a second to capture some rushing water. And then at some point, I'll probably put a 10-stop ND filter in and do a really long exposure to make that water really glassy. What I'm hoping for is a beautiful sky. I'm not expecting it, but I'm hoping for it. Uh, not a lot of clouds out there to pick up the light, but you never know. So I brought my camera down a little bit lower uh, to the ground because you do have some of this nice water in front, uh, smooth water coming in that provides kind of a glassy look. It gives you a better reflection. Getting down low gives you a, a more pronounced reflection. So that's what I'm doing. The, the color in the sky is starting to get a little bit better. Might be okay tonight. Well, we've got the... Uh, sun coming right through those pilings there. I'm trying to click off some shots before it disappears. Uh, the pier is a bit of a silhouette at this point because that sky is pretty bright, but that's okay. Uh, kind of cool. Right now I'm using 1 13th of a second and I'm really not capturing water motion with that, but that's fine. I really want this nice glassy reflection in the foreground here, which I'm getting. Well, the sun has just set, so I actually popped in my 10-stop neutral density filter, uh, and that's gonna allow me to go out uh, for a really long exposure, probably a good minute and a half, two minutes. And so I've got my camera on a tripod. I used my remote shutter release so I didn't have to touch the camera, and hopefully I'll get a good, clean shot out of this. those uh, long exposure shots. I thought they were pretty good. Uh, sky was a little boring tonight, so I'm not getting anything award-winning. Uh, but hey, I'm out here in Florida at sunset in 80 degree weather. So uh, life could be a lot worse than this. Um, I got one more spot in mind tonight. 
So tag along and uh, see if I can get something. I gotta wait for the sun to go down. There's some illumination involved. I won't say anything else, but when I get there, I will show you, assuming it's good. Well, I think I left a little early. I'm at a different part of this park, nowhere near the pier, and look what happened to the sky after I left. So, <laughs> you never know. I should have been a little bit more patient, but uh, oh well, that's okay. Well, I was on my way to a different location, um, but I knew I was near a spot which I plan to shoot tomorrow morning at sunrise. Uh, it's a bridge out there. I'll put the name of the bridge up on the screen. I should know it off the top of my head, but I don't remember it. Sunshine Bridge, something with the sun in it, I think. I think it's going to be really cool for sunrise, but I kind of like this pastel sky I have back here. The bridge is lit up. So I'm using my um, long lens, my 70 to 200 millimeter lens, and just trying to get some shots of, uh, of this bridge. The nice balance between the ambient light hitting those clouds above the bridge and uh, the lights on the bridge itself. So I'm going to take a couple more shots. Well, it is a little buggy out here, so I'm not going to press my luck. I'm going to head over to this other location, which it may be too late to hit there. I don't know, but I've got a couple days here, so uh, I might as well do some exploring. Well, I'm in my car. I got to my next destination, and uh, I'm probably not going to vlog it because uh, I'm not supposed to park here, I'm pretty sure, and I don't know how buggy it is out there, so... Uh, I might just pop out my camera and tripod, get the shot, put it up on the screen. Maybe I'll bring the vlogging camera with me, I don't know, but uh, don't expect a long explanation. This has to be kind of a quick shot. And uh, just to let you know, it's, the, it's underneath the Pinellas Bay Bridge, uh, which uh, connects you know, different parts of St. Petersburg. But there's one part that I think is gonna be pretty cool. I just did a quick recce out there and uh, it was pretty cool. So. Let me get my stuff and see if I can get a shot off. Well, here is the underside of the Pinellas Bay Bridge. I just love the way it's lit up. Um, I think to get the best shot, though, you have to get down really low. Um, so what I'm doing is I've got my camera really just on the curb, resting right underneath this, uh, this railing. So I'm getting down really low and getting the shot this way, which means don't need a tripod, but... Uh, not the, not the perfect uh, situation, but I think I'm getting a decent shot. In fact, I'll put it up right now. Well, it is the next morning and I came to photograph the uh, Sunshine Skyway Bridge, which I shot last night just after sunset. Uh, the problem, not a problem, the issue is that the park that I'm going to does not open until 7 o'clock. Sunrise is 7.40, so I'm pretty good. I'll get there, you know, comfortably before sunrise. I like to get there even earlier, but, uh, I think it will be okay. Now, we just have to hope for a good sunrise. So, I've got to wait for the gate to open and, uh, make my way to my location. Well, it it does look like there are some clouds up in the sky above the bridge. Can't really tell by this uh, video. So I'm not quite sure what the sunrise is going to hold, but I'm at my spot. Uh, it's about 40 minutes before sunrise. And so I don't want to get out too early because there's a lot of bugs out there I found out last night. So I'm going to stay in my car until uh, I start to see some interest in the light in the sky and then um, pop out and get my tripod set up. Well, it's not a great sky, but uh, the clouds above the bridge are getting, I think, some of the glow from the bridge. I don't think that's the sunrise yet. So I'm getting some shots. Right now I'm going out to about eight seconds. I'm using a longer lens. Uh, my 70 to 200 millimeters are going out to about 100 millimeters right now just to get the span of the lights in of the bridge. Um, and I think they're, they're okay. Uh, well, as the sun rises, I'm hoping it gets even more dramatic. Ideally, when the sun has risen, I've got a silhouette of the bridge against a glowing sky. I don't think I'm going to be that lucky.
So before I left my hotel this morning, I asked the person at the front desk if they sold any bug spray, which they didn't, but she reached under the counter and gave me a can to use before I uh, drove off. So uh, I'm really not getting bitten up and actually it's kind of breezy. I think that's keeping the mosquitoes away. And so uh, I can hang out here a little bit. It's, uh, it's actually very pleasant, not very humid and a nice breeze from the water. So uh, nice morning. Well, it is about 10 minutes before sunrise. Sorry, the focusing issues. Um, and honestly, I don't think I'm gonna get any sunrise here. It looks like those clouds are pretty socked in. Uh, they're thinning out a little bit above, but on the horizon, there's just no openings at all. Uh, I don't know why it's not focusing. Sorry about that. So I'm gonna stick around, but uh, it's maybe just a very blah kind of morning. Well, I uh, popped on my 10-stop neutral density filter so I could use a really long exposure. So I'm doing now a minute and a half. What that will achieve is uh, the water will be very smooth. And I'm hoping we get some movement in the clouds because there's some definition on the upper clouds. So I don't know if uh, it's gonna work, but I'm gonna give it a try because I'm here. Well, the sky is getting more interesting, kind of well above the bridge, but down where the bridge is, I'll zoom in a little bit, you'll see it's still kind of dark. So the bridge is not popping as much as I would like, but as you move up, the sky is starting to brighten up and those clouds are starting to uh, break up a little bit. So the uh, sun has already risen, so I'm not sure what's going to happen, but uh, I'll stick it out and I'll keep playing with it. Well, I waited a little bit. I took some shots, but I just don't think it's worth it. I'm gonna move on. Uh, I'm gonna go back, get some breakfast. My next uh, location is actually an architectural shoot. I'm gonna be going to the Salvador Dali Museum in uh, downtown St. Petersburg, where the structure itself is cool, and I think there's a great staircase to photograph as well. I'm gonna get there right when it opens, so hopefully there's not too many people around and uh, see what I can find. Moving on. Well, I made it to the Dali Museum in St. Petersburg. Uh, it doesn't open for another 20 minutes, so I'm gonna walk around. I do wanna shoot on the inside though. There's a great staircase, I think, that, uh, that I wanna try to capture. I don't know uh, if I'll be able to vlog it. Maybe I'll, I'll use my phone, but uh, don't expect a lot of uh, interior uh, video, but uh, I'll walk around the outside first, see if I can get some shots. Well, I did not do any vlogging inside, but I was able to capture this fantastic staircase. I took a lot of shots here from all different angles. Here are the best shots, but I, uh, I really liked it. And by the way, I saw some fantastic art. I got a tour uh, of the museum, and it was a ton of fun. So if you're in St. Pete, definitely stop by the Salvador Dali Museum. Well, it is approaching sunset, so I got a lot of time, but I came to shoot the same bridge I shot this morning, the Sunshine Skyway Bridge, but from a very different angle. Um, I'll show you on a map, but there's a pier that juts out into the bay and at the very end of the pier you get a pretty interesting view of the bridge and I'm hoping as the sun sets it hits the bridge and lights it up a bit. So we'll see. I'll show you what I'm looking at right now. So the bridge is really to my northeast, but if I swing around this way to the west, that's where the sun is going to set. So I'm hoping when the sun finds an opening in those clouds, and I hope it does, it comes this way and bounces off that bridge. I also hope I've got some better clouds in back. For example, these clouds over here are pretty awesome. 
So if I could design the shot, I would have those clouds in back and they would get golden as the sun goes down and the sun would be hitting the bridge. We'll see if I get that lucky. I guess I probably won't, but uh, that's why I'm here. Well, the sun's kind of going in and out, but you can see when it does come out, it does light up that bridge pretty nicely. You can see the span going across is, is pretty bright. It really pops. You get some darkness in back would be even better. As the sun goes down, I'm hoping you see that contrast, but uh, again, we'll have to get lucky. Well, I still have about 45 minutes before sunset, so uh, I'm just gonna have to be patient, although hanging out at the ends of this pier in the middle of, uh, I guess this is Tampa Bay still, uh, it's not a bad place to be for sunset. Uh, I'm looking at the sun setting and there are clouds in the sky, but there are some openings. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that I get lucky. My fingers are very much crossed. I'm hanging out with some fishermen here. Uh, one guy just caught something, kind of cool, Spanish mackerel, which I identified immediately after he told me what it was. So I'm just waiting for the sun still, but I'm hoping, I don't know if it's gonna happen, but the wires on the bridge back there, I'm hoping uh, they pick up some light too. That would be the best. I'll be happy if the span and those, and the, um, you know, the pilings get some, get some light, but, if those wires get light, that would be a killer shot. Again, I'm not expecting it, but uh, always hopeful. Well, the sun found a little hole there, so we're getting a little bit of light on the bridge. Let me zoom in a little bit. You can see, I'm trying to get some shots. Wish the background was darker. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get that lucky, but it's not so bad. All these fishermen or fisherwomen, fishing people around here, uh, and I'm walking behind them at some point, uh, reminds me of that scene in There's Something About Mary where Ben Stiller gets the, uh, the hook all right, right here, and I really want to avoid that. Well, I wish I was shooting to the west tonight because uh, I think it's going to be an epic sunset. I could always get this shot, there's just no foreground interest, so it'll end up being. A little boring, I still might take it anyway, but uh, I'm here really here to shoot the bridge, so. Well, I'm not sure if you can tell on the video, but the lights on the bridge uh, have, have been turned on, so there's kind of a, a red glow on the, uh, on the legs, or the, I'm not sure what they're called, pilings. The up and down sticks, there's a red glow on those, so that'll come out as it gets darker. Well, it is a pretty sunset in the west. Love watching that. So I just turned to the east and I see in these clouds there is some lightning. I don't know if you can see it on here, but uh, I was gonna head back to my hotel, but if there is lightning, I may stick around until it gets a little darker and try to capture some of that, I'll see. Well, I tried to get some uh, lightning, but it did not happen. It wasn't really great lightning. Uh, hey, this does it for the video. I had a great time in St. Petersburg. I've had a couple days of meetings now in Tampa. It'll be fun, not as fun. Uh, if you like this video, it does help the channel just to give me a like. It doesn't cost you anything. Uh, and if you like this kind of content, some travel, some architecture, some landscape, uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss future videos. And until next time.